two natural disasters hit Asia within weeks. As the world mobilizes to help cyclone and earthquake victims, another possible disaster is looming. Next on Global Pulse. Hi, I'm Erin Coker. Today on Global Pulse, we look at how these broadcasters are covering disasters sweeping Asia. Last Friday afternoon, Nargis began its descent on Burma's coastline. UN officials estimate that well over a million people lost their homes in this cyclone. Here in the countryside, survivors cannot satisfy their most basic of needs. Medicine and food are sparse, and drinking water is often only to be found in the towns and cities. The earthquake has devastated Sichuan province, home to nearly 43 million Chinese. Rescue teams have only today managed to get there. The official death toll now stands at 12,000, but that number is expected to rise. While the world focuses attention on these two major disasters, another threat is quickly emerging throughout Asia, the H5N1 virus, or bird flu. Since 2003, only 241 people have been killed by bird flu. But if the virus continues to spread to humans, the death toll could dwarf the number of those killed in the cyclone and earthquake. As the BBC reports, Indonesian outbreaks continue to plague the country. In Indonesia, the human death toll from bird flu has now risen to 100. That's almost half of the total worldwide fatalities. Two Indonesians living on the outskirts of Jakarta died from the H5N1 strain of the disease at the weekend. Indonesia is the country worst affected by bird flu. It's struggling to contain the virus. But now the H5N1 virus is spreading to other places in Asia. Russia Today says a recent outbreak has led to a fast response. Police have set up roadblocks around this village and authorities are bracing for a potential outbreak of the deadly virus. Samples from the village of Vostvizhenka were rushed for testing and determined the deadly H5N1 virus had entered Russia's far east. Suspicions were raised after 10 chickens died in this backyard. The quarantine will be in place for at least three weeks. The avian flu is dangerous to humans. Maybe we're too cautious, but we just have to make sure no local residents are affected. The disease is usually spread when birds migrate. The first deaths from the virus were reported in Hong Kong in 1997, where six people died. In 2003, bird flu became an international threat when thousands of birds throughout East Asia became infected. Two years later, the virus spread through Kazakhstan and Russia to Europe. As Japan's NHK reports, the country is now dealing with outbreaks in two regions experts believe were infected by Russian swans. Last month, when government officials discovered four dead or weakened swans in Akita, they had the H5N1 bird flu virus. The Department of the Environment has released the results that the birds all had the same strain of bird flu. H5N1 virus is one of the deadliest among birds. There is evidence that the virus is very toxic to humans as well. Although there is about 250 miles between Tawada Shore and Akita, all swans that winter in the northern part of Japan came from Siberia. South Korea is dealing with an outbreak many fear is a mutated strain from Vietnam and more difficult to kill. KBS News is following the story. The latest strain has infected and killed many ducks. The virus remains active all year regardless of the temperature. The government is concerned efforts to stop the virus will meet resistance if the public knows it's the Vietnamese strain, which can spread to people. This simulation, created by scientists at the Los Alamos National Laboratory, shows how quickly the virus could spread across the U.S. from just a few infected people arriving at a major American airport. Experts say one of the best ways to prevent the spread of disease is to wash your hands. For Global Pulse, I'm Erin Coker. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs which connect you to the world.